Hello fellow songsters and welcome to the Ben Aaron Show, season 2, week 33. This week I listened to nothing but the funky, soulful, psychedelic group Sly and the Family Stone. Formed in 1966 by Sylvester Stewart, the main songwriter, producer, and multi-instrumentalist gave himself the stage name of Sly Stone. He also had the help of his brother Freddie Stone on guitar and the help of his sister Rose Stone on the keyboards. Larry Graham played the bass guitar and invented a new style of playing the bass called slap pop style, which influenced a lot of funk and rock players in the future, like Bootsy Collins from Parliament Funkadelic, Les Claypool from Primus, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, and even Fieldy from Korn, and many more bass players. Cynthia was on the trumpet, Jerry was on the saxophone, and Greg was on the drums during the most popular part of this group's career. It helps to have such a large band when you're playing such funky and danceable music. Danceable. That means we're gonna be in common meter, 4-4 four, four time signature, and I think I'm gonna keep the beat with this cowbell. I have my drum set to the default neo-funk setting, which gives the snare a nice, tight, dry sound. As mentioned earlier, on the bass I'm going to be playing a slap pop style, where I slap the strings with the side of my thumb, and then pop some of the higher strings with my fingers. For the most part, when I hit with my thumb, that's when the bass drum is going to hit with the bass pedal, and when I pop the higher strings with my fingers, that's when the snare would hit on the drums. Bass, bass, snare, 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 bass, bass, snare, 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 snare. For the guitar, I'm mostly gonna be playing along with the rhythm of the snare drum, and I'm gonna be playing James Brown style chords, otherwise known as ninths, like this. The piano is set to a smooth organ sound that's playing its own melody, which is twice as long as the bass and the guitar parts, which adds a little dimension to the rhythm section. I created four voices to sing along during the verses and come together during the chorus. A main vocal, a bass vocal, a female vocal, and a raspy vocal. One aspect of the band I couldn't replicate was the horn section, so begrudgingly I settled upon the harmonica, which you can hear at the beginning of each verse. The lyrics are upbeat, positive, encouraging, and simple, like most lyrics are when Sly Stone writes a song. And most importantly, Sly and the Family Stone is about having a good time playing music. So without any further ado, here's my new original song, Let's Get Ready. Please enjoy the following.
the bass. Hey, thanks for listening to my new original song. Let's Get Ready will be available on my upcoming album, Spades, to be released at the end of 2017. Until then, you can download my latest album, Clubs and Hearts, at whatever price you wish over at benaaronmusic.com. But before you head over there, make sure you leave a comment for me to sing like these beautiful comments from last week's video. It's got a unique feel to it They just put up a huge mural as a tribute You totally mastered the Lennon Cohen style Great idea, nice writing It is difficult to do justice to Lennon Cohen song I'm not the big Cohen fan It's powerful songs for rain forever Everyone and that is no joke Way to keep challenging yourself then I have always loved Lennon Cohen Great channel Ben did as usual. Thanks for the comments and love, everybody. And this is Ben Aaron telling you to keep on practicing and get out there and play. Oh.